please give some of my people the mic i need these guys to pray with me worship team give your mic let's have a few people go and 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 pray we're going to be praying and set this place on fire for the next 10 minutes are we together maybe let's have three or four mics there's still more people and we're going to pray as you are praying in the spirit you are opening up yourself tired of this limitation tired of living in fear tired of living by any whatever it is by the power of the word of God. Now go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus. I <laughs> I In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Psalm 79 and verse 11 I want us to confront the spirit of death Psalm 79 and verse 11 please media are you helping us he said let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those up Pointed to die listen we are still praying preservation you are going to pray for you your children and all who are connected to you that the fullness of your days you will fulfill and any embargo of death hanging on you he must give way right now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, we curse you by the God of heaven, by the word of the Lord. Pray, pray over your children. Pray over your family. Pray over your loved one. In the name of Jesus, preserve from death. Preserve from the sword. Preserve from the hands of evil and wicked men. In the name of Jesus, 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 hallelujah. Please hear me. You are going to pray and cover everyone connected to you. Mention them by name and declare that under God and by the word of God, Satan, you have no hand over their life whether in death whether in tragedy they are preserved lift your voice and pray mention them by name he said as for me and my house call your mother call your father call your siblings call your spouse call your children by name declare over their life prophesy preservation In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, don't be tired while praying. Hallelujah. You are going to declare that if there is any mark upon my life and destiny attracting tragedy to my life, that was what came upon Cain. And Cain cried. He said, by reason of this mark, anybody who sees me will harm me. You are going to lift up your voice and pray that if there be any strange mark that came by ancestry, that came by bloodline upon my head and my destiny, attracting tragedy in the name of Jesus, it is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead and pray. It is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Every marking of darkness erased by the blood of the Lamb. 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 Every mark in the name of Jesus. Every mark upon my life, upon my family, upon Koinonia for tragedy, for evil. By the blood of the Lamb, it is erased in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I'm 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please don't be tired two more prayer points don't be tired at all the Bible says the spirit is willing even though the flesh is weak don't make bargain with a destiny defining moment now you're going to pray that every pattern whatever you saw happen to anyone and is now gradually coming to you every pattern pattern of failure pattern of trouble pattern of untimely death that seeks to come to me my children my family i cancel it by the blood lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen. This prayer we are going to pray is going to produce profound miracles. Listen. In the lives of people. I know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that is making me tell you this. Some of you may not believe the prayers, but that's all right. But I want you to pray. Do you know there is an average of six to seven in every ten people that have this mysterious encounter with spirit husbands, spirit wives, strangers that come to people while they are sleeping. They come to molest you. They try to sleep with you, plant all kinds of things in your body. Listen, as I'm praying now, many of you, the, the kind of deliverance that will come, this has been responsible for the barrenness of many people. If many people are to be open, they will tell you. A job is supposed to open up for you. You get to bed in the night, here comes that experience again. Someone comes to sleep with you, molest you, or some kind of dehumanizing experience. And you wake up with a plethora of tragedies. During our discussion on deliverance next year, I will teach you some of these mysteries. There are imbalances to them that continue to plant fear in believers. I understand. But believe me, within the balance of scripture, I can tell you that there are orchestrations of darkness that try to latch onto men. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. I shared with you my own experience the person talking to you is not in ignorance i was already in ministry and yet these spirits will come mine is just to come and oppress me and because of the prophetic i would see them i would shout jesus in the name of jesus blood of jesus as a man of god don't think i'm talking nonsense here i understand these things many of you because of the stigma around church you may not have the courage to open up to say, look, I am going through this. Some of you have, the, you feel physically like a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and do all kinds, and you find out that there are repercussions spiritually. We're about to pray. My God, I'm just in fire in this place. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Listen, hold on. Just help those under the anointing because fire is falling here for sure. 
Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit. Every spirit. That is not of the Christ. That is not of the Christ. In and around my life. In and around my life. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. Let there be an eternal separation. Let Live my life, my destiny forever. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. An eternal separation. Every stranger latching onto your body. Every spirit coming to you using the faces of men. The faces of animals, creatures to molest you and oppress you by the blood, eternal separation. Help them, help those under the anointing. I command that spirit. You must go. Go with the sickness you brought. Go with the infirmity you brought. Go with the tragedy you brought. Out of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. 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 Shabra da tema la da mana masia da 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 da. Shali mana se na maria na se na de se na da se na da. Shala gabara kata pransa da bala kato shafra kada bala kus. Kebranda gabara to shafra kash kada bala kata pras kada kato siata. Kranda gabara gaba kato shafra kada bala kata. Help a take a barakata. Eke shabariata. Ebra katos kadabakata. Shabada, 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 shabada. Ebra kepe reke take a tos kape barakata. Hear me. Prophet Joel said, Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm. Put her court. I came by the road of a higher priesthood. To sound an alarm that there is a revival coming. There are men and women of God that must arise, 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 awake thou that sleepest, and Christ shall give thee life. The ministry of the Holy Ghost bringing empowerment, bringing empowerment, capacity. To represent him as a witness, he said, But ye shall receive power, ye shall receive power, not just knowledge, ye shall receive power. Hear me when that grace comes upon you, <laughs> Saul, you may be the son of Kish. But when you meet prophet Samuel, you will be turned into another man. You will come to the garrison of the Philistines. 
Someone tonight is about to be turned to another man. Turned to another man. Open your mouth wherever you are and begin to cry for the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth right where you are. Spirit of the living God. You are the maker of men. The quickener of our spirit man. Someone pray. Hallelujah, hear me. Hear me. There is a cloud of God's glory over this congregation. For some of you, God is saying, I've been waiting for you to hear this message. To connect it to the dreams that you've been having. You have been seeing yourself mightily used by God. But you've been saying, how shall I become that? This message was a roadmap for you. There are many ladies here. You will rise after the order of Deborah. Mighty warriors indeed. Mighty warriors like Deborah. Mighty warriors. Mighty warriors. Mighty warriors. Bring them out. Mighty warriors by the Spirit. Mighty warriors by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mighty warriors in the Spirit. Issue of blood. And he focused and was dealing with her issue. By the time he was done, in one of the synoptic accounts, they said this other person had died. Timing matters in destiny. Hear me? It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the five other virgins. If the bridegroom came early, all the ten, they were all virgins. The delay of the bridegroom made the oil of the five. They all started well, but the bridegroom was late. I want you to pray with understanding that every hindrance I desire to come to you once and again only God knows how many things in Abuja have been authorized by prophecy to come to you they have tried they tried in 2019 they tried in 2020 lift your voice and pray with understanding I clear away every hindrance by the blood of the Lamb Paros Kates Kote Mashata. Open doors that should have come. Lift things that should have come. Answers to prayer that should have come. Halike Parus Kate Brenta Katoska Diadamos. Ebrekete kotos koto brete katele katos shame skonde brandi katos kiata. Shade brandi gedi bash. Sede breketo pras koto Maria tabadan doshane. E breketo skoto prato skoto prende ketepa. E brakato sopro sosi ketelekot. Makata prende ke perusiata. E kreto skoto shoto prende ketepa retos.
Alléluia. 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 Now listen very carefully. I hope you are not tired. We'll soon round up. You will marvel and wonder the results you will get from this prayer. Believe me. Now, point number one. Please shout it after me. You can give them the mic. Help me, guys. Maybe two or three mics. Just give them. We can have it back. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every planting that is not of God in and around my life, in and around my destiny, be destroyed right now. Lift your voice and start praying. Hey, Pratosh, get the branch, check the Pratosh, the Prakate. Get the Katosh, the Prakate, the Prakate. In Prakata, Prakata, Prakato, Prakato, Prakate. He pros, Kati Barus, Kate, 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'd like you to pray he says as for me and my house listen whether your family members are here or not you are going to stand in faith with them Lord as you are visiting me wherever they are across this group let the power of God reach them lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray as for me and my house as for me and my house as for me and my house as for me and my heart <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 James chapter 4 and verse 3. Apostle James is schooling us in prayer. And he's saying that there is a possibility that men can ask and yet not receive. And he tells us why. Because ordinarily, everyone that asketh should receive. But he's saying there exists a possibility that you can ask and still not receive. He says, because you ask amiss. You ask amiss. Amiss means out of patterns. And the pattern is give us this day. You can't say give me everything. You must mention what you desire. He said, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them. What things soever ye desire, no assumptions. Give us this day our daily bread. Are you ready to pray? You are going to open your mouth and mention everything or every area you need a visitation. No assumption. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Lift your voice and pray. 
it is healing in your body declare it it is a yoke that has sat upon your destiny declare it Hallelujah. 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 Now, here's how we do it here. Please listen. Whilst, whilst I begin to minister, for the sake of time, we have so many things to do this night, and I don't intend to keep us here beyond our normal time. So let me advise you up front, if you are yet to write your prayer request, we have a structure here that somewhere um, as we... As the meeting is ongoing, we'll collate all the requests. Even those online, you can do well to just send in your prayer requests and we'll pray. So if you're yet to do that, please do that. Number two, if a word comes, now please hear this. I need to tell us this. It doesn't mean that if a prophetic word does not come carrying your name or carrying descriptions that directly relate to you, it doesn't mean God is not speaking to you. You see, the way God works is that what he says to one, he says to all. So if, for instance, God is speaking over someone who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, even though it is that particular case I may want to see here, but it doesn't mean that every other person cannot connect. Are we together now? If God is speaking concerning maybe captivity over a family, and then if a prophetic word directly relates to you, Please do well to save us time by coming. At least or indicate if you are not within this auditorium so that we know. These are some of the things that take away so much time. It's not a vigil, so we're limited. Are we together? There's a lot we have to do. We have to pray uh, for the sick. We have to minister deliverance and so on and so forth. But I'd like you to believe that this will be your miracle service. That this will be your miracle service. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, I'm, I'm really sensing, and, and it's a very strange way, but I'm sensing that God wants to begin tonight by ministering to those who are in ministry. Ministers of the gospel. Those who are currently in ministry. And this is what, this is what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. There are people who have churches. There are some of you who have groups. And for some, they just came for greater levels of fire. You don't have to come out. I want to pray for you. And for some of you, you have the call of God upon your life, but you do not even know. And the Holy Ghost has been looking for you. Some of you, you are the ones destined to lift your family. And God has been speaking to you. This is the miracle service where he finally finds you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. I pray right now for everyone who is in ministry and has not been producing the kind of results that the Bible says should follow or those who have the genuine call of God upon their lives. Please, I want you to bring those under the anointing as I pray this prayer. 
right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I stretch my hands may fire from heaven rest upon individuals let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit young and old inside and outside I count three one two three take that fire now take that fire now please bring them out very quickly take that fire now in the name of Jesus any church that is not growing any man of God who is struggling in ministry I bring you the power of the Holy Ghost here at this miracle service in the name of Jesus Christ intercessory groups all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working in the name of Jesus some of you your ministries to your families there are altars that God is raising you to fight and tear down I decree and declare young and old may that power come upon you in the name of Jesus may that power come upon you in the name of Jesus may that power come upon you in the name of Jesus may that power come upon you in the name of Jesus ministry with evidence ministry with proof go and be a deliverer with fire go and be a deliverer it doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families i decree and declare right now by the power of the holy ghost let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries kebarakata multiplied visions prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus let there be an ignition by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries all of you who are out here i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into the grace that has been apportioned for you in the name of jesus step into that grace step into that grace right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah now alongside these people there are a group of people i want to pray for please hear me the bible says saviors shall come out of zion can i tell you every family every territory has men and women who have been selected god wants to permeate families and bring deliverance but there are individuals that god must find wherever they are here if you are the one anointed and ordained that god will raise you to wipe the tears of your family wherever you are under the sound of my voice at the bakatos at the count of three may god locate you it's time for your family to arise may god locate you may god locate you young and old saviors arise by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ arise 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 in the name of jesus it has nothing to do with gender male or female if god has raised you whether you are a gideon or deborah may the power of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ all of you in front i declare by the power of the holy ghost let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now 
let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please let them go back to their seats quickly if they can let them go back to their seats i want to pray a very serious prayer right now this is a miracle service and the prayer i'm about to pray is a major prayer can i tell you this truly truly causes are real truly yokes are real embargoes are real yes the power of god is there to deliver but it does not happen automatically this is why you are here i want you to pay attention there are patterns i will never stop praying this prayer there are families under the sound of my voice the same thing everybody faces in the family if it's retrogression it happens to everybody if it's delayed it happens to everybody right now i want to pray at the count of three whether you are inside or outside i like you to shout that name jesus and as you shout the power of the holy ghost will rest marvelously upon you there are spirits that will not let destinies go free great people some of you have traveled abroad and even returned back nothing is changing my bible says therefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every family here having any charm or any cause or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness Maketos be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now bring them out be destroyed now in the name of jesus every spirit that will not let you go i decree and declare be delivered now in the matchless name of jesus please bring them out quickly help the ushers whether you are an usher or not please help them hallelujah we are still praying we are still praying the lord is delivering many 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 people right now every altar that is sitting on anybody's life yokes that will not let you go some of you have dreams you go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes right now by the power of the holy spirit may that fire locate you wherever you are hallelujah please pay attention there is a marvelous work that god is doing here there are some of you your oppressions have come in dreams you go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams going back to secondary schools writing exams that don't finish eating all kinds of things fraternizing with dead spirits right now at the count of three makatos kata anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams i declare at the count of three shout jesus again one two three let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now by the power of the holy ghost be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb hallelujah hallelujah i'm hearing a name mabel mabel like m-a-b-e-l is there someone like that we have to hurry up because i want to pray for the sick i'm hearing a name mabel mabel 
you are wearing something like her tie it's like lime or it's i don't know what color it is is there someone like that mabel what's your name where are you from is the mic working hallelujah what's your name mabel. huh mabel you are mabel you are mabel too who is from cross river i want to pray for you where are you from where in cross river Bokeh. i want to pray for you because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing fire and the lord wants to bring deliverance to your family you believe that i want to pray for you there's an elderly woman now i'm seeing the power of god come on that elderly woman you are not young i'm seeing the power of god come on you the lord is bringing salvation to your family your prayer has been your children in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but right now i'm seeing power from heaven please bring the person here my sister let me pray for you very quickly in the name of jesus christ i decree over your life and over your family everything that has a connection to ancestry by the power of the holy spirit let it be gone right now let it be gone right now it will not follow you to your marriage in the name of jesus christ let it be gone right now in the name of jesus and to you please just help them make sure they don't enjoy themselves to you the other lady mabel I stretch my hands in Jesus name let there be a supernatural visitation for your family in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of the Lord let it give way right now in the name of Jesus let it give way right now in the name of Jesus let it give way right now bring for me the person who shouts now in this main auditorium loud under the power of god i just heard that sound in my spirit a loud shout this lady there's a lady that that lady placing her hand on her neck please tap her for me lift your hands i'm seeing fire coming on you and the lord is saying he's removing everything that stands as a barrier I don't know what it is but right now let that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ that barrier is over now in the name of jesus christ that embargo is lifted now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus did before listen we're about to blow the trumpet i sense that there are prophetic people here and there are mantles that have been looking for you may these mantles rest on you anything you see that is wrong with the prophetic please help them is because you have refused to rise david you cannot be in the wilderness forever no israel will suffer when a season of training comes samuel has been looking for you with the vial of oil i have come standing upon this grace and all the graces that have ministered here hear me this is a prophetic clarion call to the body of christ in nigeria don't say god has lifted men god's idea is not superstars god's idea is an army an army of willing men across every region in lagos ibadan my dugury everywhere hallelujah now please hear me the sound of a trumpet is a very deep mystery i wish i had the time would have looked at ezekiel 47. the bible talks about the river that flowed from the east side of the temple and there were four levels and to every of the level there was an effect the final level was a river that overflowed and he said when it flowed to everything that was dead it came alive no matter what dimension of the anointing you have seen there is always more even in heaven he said come up here hallelujah so here's what will happen 
as the man of God sounds this trumpet, he will do it seven times. And with everyone you are praying in the spirit and receiving by faith. Makato siata. Lord, I position myself for that which you are doing in Nigeria. I position myself for that which you are doing in Africa. Go ahead, sir. Someone is praying in the spirit. Prophets, rise. Pray in the spirit. It's time for apostolic mantles. Prophetic mantles. Entrepreneurial mantles. To arise from Nigeria. From Africa. Someone pray. Grace as of old. Power as of old. Anointings as of old. Hela baraka teske de prende geta, geta teske de geta. Dead and dying ministries arise in the name of Jesus. Prophetic ministries arise in the name of Jesus. Eba la kaparotiata, captains of industry arise by the Spirit of God. Arise by the Spirit of God, marketplace apostle. a prophetic shout give God a prophetic shout 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 hallelujah hallelujah hear me the Bible says and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and they sang and everyone within the prison heard them he said suddenly there was a sound and an earthquake and he said and all doors open not some all doors financial doors supernatural business doors all doors open you are going to shout one more time and with that shout any door that has been closed i stand by the grace of the man of god and we declare all doors in Wolfpack 2023, all doors open. Are you ready now? Shout! 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 All doors open! All doors open! All doors open! All doors open! By all means, By all means, Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, 
to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound there are people physically you see them moving but in the realm of the spirit the bible says that they are bound next verse to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn in zion verse 3 it says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified verse 4 i receive it for myself it says and they shall build the old waste they shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations verse 5 and strangers this is where we are getting to you don't need to know who will help you strangers and strangers shall stand and feel listen 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 strangers shall stand and feed your flock it says and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen this was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth the Bible says and David say is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake and they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons the Bible says he sent him to Lodeba he said there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth go and fetch the man the king said when he came he said although you are crippled even Mephibosheth said am I a dog that the king will be sending for me he said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him he said but as for you Mephibosheth you will eat with me at my table here forever keep that scripture there listen this scripture is a deliverance scripture stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know it's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough stop troubling your uncle your auntie every time you are saying god visit me your mind is going to a particular person that real estate man leave god to decide who like a movie director let him decide who will come with the blessing are you ready to pray make decrees in this season strangers are feeding my flock strangers are feeding my flock the sons of alien are coming to bless me hell prepared blessings rising from everywhere hallelujah two prayer points and we're done are you ready to pray we're going to pray for nigeria how many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation you see the happenings around this nation the church should not be silent it's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements our assignment is to pray pray like believers with intelligence he said pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we are going to pray we cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people you heard the testimony of our dear auntie here the precious daughter just came out of the her school and these wicked evil people entered a car and that's how they carried her killed other innocent people whoever digs a pit for you i stand by my god and i declare they must enter that pit hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared 
the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together hmm. for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me make decrees over our lives now. Decrees are powerful. Hallelujah. Prophetic words don't only reveal, they create. They make what is not there to be there. We can call the things that be not and make them to appear. We can call the favor that be not and make it appear. We can call the lifting that be not and make it appear. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has refused to open over your destiny, I declare, let it be open right now. Let it be open right now in the name of Jesus. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you. I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe. I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life. 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 Listen to me. Every strange pattern and occurrence in any family, circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves, I stand by the God of heaven and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I break those patterns now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The Bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him Jabez. And for a while, things would not go well in his life. And one day he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. Is someone ready to pray? Listen, God is a God of increase. Is it is the will of God that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position I pray for you in the name of Jesus expand yeah. 
expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor ah. in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems we shift structures and i command favor i declare favor i command favor i declare favor can i pray for your spiritual life everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of god you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we are wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to walk in your hands go back right now and watch wonders happen go back right now and watch wonders happen go, uh, go back and watch wonders happen in the name of jesus christ And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shall find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media